The mission and vision for RE1 is to educate students for the future. Technology is changing everything so quickly that studies show that 85% of the jobs that will be available in 2030 aren't even created yet. We have to be having our students ready for that next step, no matter what it is. That's our vision, and that's going to always be our mission, is kids first. We're very blessed in RE1 Valley School District that we just spent $2 million to have smart labs in every individual school from our littlest learners in kindergarten clear up to our high school students so they could have the latest and greatest technology available to them. The Smart Lab is a program where students will have the opportunity to engage in activities such as graphic design, videography, integrating science, technology, engineering, math into their daily activities. As we move into this wide and varied world of technology, it's changing. We feel as though with the things that we brought to our district here in the last couple of years, that we're really going to be ahead of the game in that regard as well. so many opportunities for students in the RA1 Valley School District. There's really something that caters to everybody's needs. Whether you're interested in music or sports or even just employability skills, there's lots of different aspects that students can get involved in and help better themselves for life after high school. One of the biggest things is the teachers are always setting us up for success. I know I can count on the teachers to help me if I ever struggle. Overall, I think they just teach me life skills, whether it's actually the materials they're teaching or lessons within the class itself. As far as research-based practices go, it's important to stay up to date because uh, we want to make sure we're doing what helps kids the best. As far as you know, current events goes, we always want to make sure we're connecting what kids are learning to current events so they can synthesize that into their lives. My favorite class was probably CIC, mostly because of my teacher, Ms. Yerick. She makes it really fun and enjoyable to learn about like our future in college. Lately, we've been researching different careers, and we did career boards. It was just really, really interesting to find out like what all different careers people want to be. A lot of my teachers have been very adequate to kind of adapting to different learning styles. And I know at the beginning of my class, they're like, what is the best way you guys learn so that they can kind of adapt and make sure we learn the best way possible? Because all my teachers definitely have different learning styles that they apply. But at the end of the day, they all have the best foot forward and they just want us to learn the best way, but they adapt to what we want, which is very nice. When it comes to the curriculum in my classroom, I have a lot of freedom to change it and adjust it as I need. It changes from year to year, depending on what the students need, if it's more of a hands-on group, if it's more of a, you know, a visual group or auditory, I come up with different things to, to meet their needs. I'd say any business class or anything like that is preparing me a lot just to know how to run a business and talk to others. And we have a social media class that I'm taking, know what to post, know what not to post, and all those good things. Extracurricular activities are so important for the kids because it gives them another reason to come to school every day. And we offer a lot of different things for the kids. That could be athletics, theater, musical, all these different things that kind of give the kids a sense of community. The extracurriculars really help kids come out and perform better in school. Having that sense of community, that sense of belonging, and seeing their teachers or their friends do these things, it really puts them up, it lifts them up, and they perform better in a lot of aspects of their education because of it. One of the most important programs we have is our social emotional learning program, which really promotes just a climate of acceptance and tolerance of everyone. Social emotional learning programs really can emphasize things like self-awareness and relationship skills, mindfulness, these things that are really important for children's development. I know every single kid that's in seventh through 12th grade. What that allows us to do is establish relationships with those kids. I used to work in a large school, you know, I would see new faces every single day, but here I can establish those relationships with kids. And I think probably that's the most important factor is for kids to have some sort of trusted adult in the school. 
I'm involved in Sources of Strength, and with Sources of Strength, it's kind of the main goal is to make sure the mental health of the students is very successful and good. We have meetings every month to make sure that these kids know their resources and know that we're always there for them and we can lead and help them and make sure that everyone's mental health is very successful at this school. I think the school fosters a supportive environment because I feel like every single administrator, teacher like, cares about us. I feel protected by them being there. If anything happened, that I would be safe in any situation. Well, I think RE1 has done a great job kind of keeping their fingers on the pulse of the district and understanding what needs to happen and what the vibe of the community is and how they address it that way. So I think they've done a great job listening to the community and addressing situations based off those conversations. We've changed the way we look at professional development in the district. We've moved away from a top-down approach to where we are now involving our classroom teachers. We want them to be able to provide to us and share with us what they feel like they need in the classrooms to help support them. It's important to stay up to date with uh, all the education because things are constantly changing. And so we really have to stay as up to date as we can just to keep kids engaged and up with the world that we're living in. We have a curriculum review process and it is on rotation with the years. One year it may be English, one year it may be math. Technology is always incorporated in all of that, but we strive to be on the cutting edge with curriculum and technology. I stay engaged with the latest educational practices by just continuing my education. I take professional developments. I'm working towards a master's degree right now. We're just constantly working to improve how we can reach our students. They always do different stuff. They don't keep the same routine every like week. It kind of helps kids want to go to class and be like, yeah, we're gonna do something new today and learn something fun. It's great that the people here are listening to the students and it's not just like they're thinking of themselves and what's good for the school. They're taking other students' input and you know they just listen to us on a daily basis. At the end of the day, it's really all about the students. So working collaboratively with parents and guardians is vital to supporting students becoming the best version of themselves. It's important to understand that we do have students that are gonna go on to junior college, students that are gonna go on to college, but there are students that are gonna go right into the workforce, or there are students that are gonna go on to trade school. And it's important that as educators, we do our best to prepare our students for life after high school no matter what career path that is. One of the things that really, with the STEM lab coming on board, that's just gonna provide us another avenue to reach those other kids that we may have, you know, not necessarily challenged in the past. What motivates me to teach in RE1 Valley is that I grew up here, I went to all these same schools, so I really feel indebted to the community for some of the people who really helped support me and helped me grow, and I'd like to have the opportunity to do that for kids in the community. I think what motivates me to teach here is just the need. The kids in this community really need strong figures, good role models. That's a huge driving force for me. In the 25 years that I've been here in RE1 Valley, I feel like one of the most important things to me is a sense of community and understanding the families that we have. So I have made it my goal, my mission, to ensure that I know the families, I know the students, I know their stories. So really it is just about knowing the students and helping provide the best education possible for their needs. So parents, if you're thinking about bringing your children into our school district, enrolling them as a new student, or if you're thinking about coming back to RE1 Valley, I invite you to come in and look at our school, see what happens on a daily basis here, visit with our principals, talk to our teachers, talk to people within our community now, because the word's out on the street that RE1 Valley School District is back, and we're aggressively addressing the things that we felt were our shortfalls, and we appreciate everything that you mean to us if you enroll your students here.